I am back like I never left. If this is your first time stopping by, you are highly welcome. Remember to subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, oh well. So if, if you have a comment or any question, feel free to do that in the comment section and let's head over to today's video. As you can see from the title, we'll be talking about how to recognize a toxic relationship. So let's the first one, when your partner gets angry over every little thing, when your partner judge all of your little mistakes, maybe when you cook meal and then the meal is maybe too spicy or too salty, they tend to judge you over every little mistake. The second one on my list, when your partner lies to you about nearly everything, there is no harm in telling lies once in a while, of course, to cover up for some things. But when it becomes a habit, then that relationship is definitely unhealthy. Yes, a, a healthy relationship is built based on trust. So if your partner, if you find your partner lying to you about everything, about his calls, text messages, as in nearly everything, there my dear that relationship is toxic the third one on my list when your partner blackmails you emotionally to the extent that you begin to think that you cannot live without them or anytime they are trying to quit the relationship you start thinking about committing suicide that relationship is very very toxic then the third one on my list when your partner has mood like they choose days whereby they are very very sweet they are very very caring they give you a lot of kisses, they cuddle you, and then some days they tend to ignore you. They tend to like ignore your presence at all. Toxic. The fourth one on my list, when your partner ignores you and when you complain, they tend to be aggressive to the extent that they might start you know, raising up their hands to hit you. That relationship is toxic. This one on my list, when your partner loses interest in you, let's say you went to see your boyfriend, let me use she as an example, a lady, you went to see your boyfriend, you put on your sleeping dress or your jumps, uh, sorry, bodysuit or whatsoever just to look sexy to attract your boyfriend and then he doesn't even notice that you look sexy for him. Like no matter how you do to impress your boyfriend, he just doesn't see your sexiness this one on my list when your partner denies your existence sorry please sorry about the noise like somebody is moving into the other apartment so there's noise there the sixth at is it fifth the fifth one on my list when your partner denies your existence like i'm actually this particular one is based on experience like your boyfriend maybe he started chatting with a lady online and then all of a sudden that guy is like denying your existence maybe telling people that you're his ex-girlfriend or you're the one that is asking him out so stuff like that when your boyfriend denies your existence that relationship is very very toxic the sooner you realize when you realize all the signs it's better just for you to cut out of this relationship like of course i think i'm going to make a video on how to get over a heartbreak when your partner makes you feel like a body definitely everybody not really everybody but most people go through this phrase in their life whereby they need somebody to support them somebody should just stand by their side they should have a shoulder to lean on maybe you're going through some financial crisis let me use that for an example and then over and over again your partner is making you feel like you are actually their setback in life or you're actually the reason why they are not going financially because they are assisting you nobody should ever make you feel like you are a body they shouldn't give you a reason to feel that a right partner a right guy a right lady for you will never make you feel like a body never never take note of all the last but not the least when you are with your partner maybe when you're trying to make a conversation with a person and all that person's attention is either on his or her phone, either chatting or playing game. I don't know if you can relate to this, but yeah, I can. That shit hot on the button, seriously. When you're with your partner and all their attention is on their phone, you're trying to make a conversation or be trying to say something serious, and sometimes they will not even listen to what you're saying. Anything you say, they will just be nodding their head. Anything you say, they will just nod their head. That shit hot. 
if you can relate to any of these points i give please let me know in the comment section okay i will see you guys in my next one bye